Hey guys, Jesse here from Tonkadale and today we're talking about container gardening. We always have so many beautiful containers ready to go, planted up for sun and shade. One of the things that we do here at Tonkadale is we plant our containers in a drop-in pot. These plastic liners can be easily picked up and transferred to your home and dropped in your decorative container. Let's start with the shade containers. I would say Tonkadale is likely famous for our shade containers. They are so gorgeous. And one of the things that makes them extra special is how we mix and match foliage. So what we have here is a very beautiful lemon cypress mixed with gold child ivy in a very simple alternating arrangement with the mocha red nonstop begonia. So easy, but so stunning. And you can switch it out, you know, choose a pink begonia instead. There are endless possibilities, just starting with three simple items. Here we have a 14 inch container. And what I love about this one is the bromeliad right up the center. Now this is a container for early morning sun and later day shade. We have an alocasia that will grow up and nice and tall. The Hamalis begonia, the Algerian ivy, canary wings begonia, a close cousin to the dragon wing begonia adds stunning brightness to a shady location and blooms all summer long. My favorite, a bird's nest fern. Again, a nonstop begonia, this time in mocha orange. And this looks like a sun patient. Sun patients do well in both sunny and shady containers. They do need some sunshine to continue blooming. This one looks like rose glow. These have a Really nice mix of foliage plant, neon pothos, aurelia, syngonium here on the back side, and a peperomia. How fun is that? We have one of our standard ferns, the terrace fern, and a bromeliad coming up the middle. For flower power, we have the nonstop begonia and mocha yellow, and um, the painted paradise New Guinea impatient one is ready to go to your house. You'll notice we're using the Brazil philodendron along with the gold dust croton and again a bromeliad, my favorite, and a spider plant. How cute! For a more traditional look using mostly annuals, this is a great option. We love the Garden Meister fuchsia. This one grows nice and tall along with the big begonias in the bronze leaf with the red flowers. We have asparagus fern, which is the little black dress of annuals, a lime green coleus, some terinia, which is a great bloomer for a shady location. That one's gonna wake up and bloom once it gets out in the sunshine. Creeping Jenny and a homalus begonia tucked here in the back. You can create endless recipes using this formula. No two containers will turn out the same because there are 25 different selections of coleus, four to five selections of Terinia. The big begonias come in three to four colors and there are massive amounts of begonias to choose from. So you can mix and match and place those in your containers. Here's a great combination for sun. You'll see in many of our sun containers, we do include geraniums. They are a gardener's standard. And the reason why we love them is because of their big chunky flowers. And you need that it's a place for your eye to rest and a great design element in any sun pot. Other sun loving items included in this mix is the new Pinkerbell Petunia. Isn't she gorgeous? We have a white Lantana, Talinum Limon with the little firework flowers shooting up. On the side, we have Coleus Strawberry Drop. Ooh, a bonus Lantana, the Lucky Gold. And coming up the middle here, we have irisine blazing lime. This one is great for sun or shade and it'll grow nice and tall right up the middle. And then a vinca vine to trail down the front. This is a really easy recipe to follow. You start with a topiary jasmine or a topiary mandevilla, put it right in the middle and then you just pick a few other elements and repeat them all the way around the bottom. We have three dynamo orange geraniums we have the Crazy Tunia Black Mamba, Heliochrysum Splash, and our Lucky Gold Lantana. We have a really pretty cottagey mix here in these gorgeous mama pots. We have the pink, purple, and lavender, 
And this mix is just so girly and so fun. I love the Argoranthemum. We're using the Dark Star Coleus, Pink Vinca, White Lantana. In the larger pots, we added the Geranium, the Senecio Angel Wings, which gets nice and tall. And look at this fluffy Calibracoa. It almost bounces. This is TikTok Grape and it's brand new this year. Check it out over on the side. We have Dichondra Silver Falls. By the end of the summer, this will trail all the way down to the floor. So cute. A garden classic, the Dusty Miller. And a cute little Kufia. A Tonkidale Standard, the Lysimachia Waikiki. We have Strobilanthes, Persian Shield, right up the middle. Alternanthera, Brazilian Red Hots. Again, our Geraniums, the Verbena in Violet. Lantana and a hot pink petunia. Thanks for watching and we'll see you at Tonkydale.